I'm, I'm gonna start snapping that All shit. All I know, it, that shit is it, it's too fucking like the nigga was actually adorable. He, it, that was the. This was such the, a bad time for you to say that shit, but all right. right. <laughs> no, no, not like that. But I mean, you, you, who, I get it. I get it. Who, who sees who sees a four foot eight thug, bro? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you in the sixth grade? Do your homework. You somebody's like, bully. Stop it. Like, like, nigga, your underwear probably don't, you probably still in the top. Man out here wearing the Charmander underwear. Bet. All right. Oh, yeah. So what's going on, people? This is the Run Those Games podcast, episode thirty-nine. It is the first podcast of twenty nineteen. As you can tell by the we conversation need- at hand, we on some other shit this year. With that being said, I got my co-host with me, the homie Eric, Biggie, Agent, and K Dog. And since Biggie yeah. is muted, Eric, go ahead, go I'm first, right bro. Here. Oh shit, you was muted on the Discord. But Eric, go ahead, bro. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to 2019. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Biggie, go ahead, bro. We bet that's what we're doing. Already, we bro. right now. We Barry Whiten it. Apparently. All right, I really hope y'all enjoyed this podcast. You know, we really work uh, hard on these episodes. Hope y'all enjoy, subscribe, all this other good stuff. Yeah, it's Shaq Diesel and Bill. I don't tip for that nigga. You sound like Shaq, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Is your eyes crossed? No. <laughs> Agent, go ahead, bro. Eat booty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, K Dog, go ahead and top it off. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, damn, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I oh, shit. Boy, okay, I can respect it. Oh my god, I'm crying already. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Hey, blame Eric. He started out. I was just gonna do what uh, K Dog did, but I just had to know we buried White in it. Oh, good lord almighty. All right, so kick it off. I legit finished the whole. I, I legit finished the whole micro game before we even started this shit. I'm like two minutes away from finishing mine, but um, so let's go ahead and kick it off with some of our favorite shooter, Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Damn. This, this is overall just fake. Not I don't want to say I almost said fake news, but this is just fake outrage. In case some of y'all don't know, I don't understand how you wouldn't know about it now. But like Call of Duty has microtransactions in it where you could either where you could buy COD points to get a chance at buying something like black ops 3 and before now you can just outright buy what the hell you want similar to fortnite they basically the fortnite uh uh microtransaction uh way of doing shit right Mm -hmm. people are mad apparently because it costs one dollar to buy a specific reticle not the red dot itself not the actual attachment that you know helps you in the game you know i mean not the red dot that you can actually change color yeah not the red dot that you can change the color or some shit like that they are mad because you can, not that you have to, but you can buy a red dot. Here's the thing about the red dot that everybody's pissed off about. It's not even a red dot that's closed. It's a red dot that's open. What? And people are mad about that. But here's the kicker. You can already previously have bought in, like, different, like, reticle colors or, like, different, like, reticle uh, uh, things or whatever. And if you remember Black and Black, o- Black Ops 3, if I remember correctly, they had them same shits in pack openings. So why is everybody mad again? We've already been through this. You don't have to buy the shit. Like, I hate using that argument, but, like, we generally don't have to fucking buy because we have all the tools that we need to play the game in the game. You know what I mean? Like, you yeah, got... It's one of those things where I can't even get mad at call that one. Yeah, so, like, a lot of people are now, like, on YouTube making these these think pieces and all this other shit. Like, shout out to the homie uh, Ethos, actually, because I was actually watching the stream when he was talking about it, and I feel like we need to give our opinion on this, because I just think that it's overall bullshit that people are getting fake mad over this. I want to get y'all thoughts on this, so whoever want to go, go ahead and sound off. All right, I guess I'll go first. Uh, it's not, it, Like I said, it's one of those things I can't get mad at Call of Duty for it, because it's, you don't have to buy it. It doesn't give you any advantage. It doesn't, like, auto-lock on anything not a new weapon it's not none of that like out of all the things <laughs> people get mad about that you have the chance to buy this is it well see that's the thing though people people number one my, my thing is like people get mad of it but number two people just looking for shit to be mad about like yeah. like like we'll say you don't have to buy it i really don't want to know why you're upset or some, over a choice. It's something that now if they force the shit on you, then it's different. If it was something that changes gameplay, like, yeah, this is like the best reticle in the game, it auto locks on the shit, it 
like does more damage, even though that would make no sense, then I could see you getting mad. But it don't yeah. do shit for you. It don't do a damn thing. But like I said, people people make you know, bro. There's so much people may con- try to create content out of the littlest thing they can. Like yeah. so, like if you a- go on YouTube and like you look up because shout out to the homie Ethos yet again. He actually did shit live on stream. He looked up like Call of Duty Black Ops Four Reticle. There's like eight videos talking about some the outrage that Call of Duty has said within the community, the uh, the overall like disregard for like the consumer of like Activision or some shit like that. Basically. Boom. Everything under the sun that's over a reticle, not me. Well, we all know that Activision don't care about us as a as consumers. Period. Hey, I just want to say real quick, these are the same people that was okay with paying a hundred dollars just to be able to get more uh, DLCs. Basically, like, it's like you still they, bought they, the game. It's like if like you really you paid a hundred dollars so that you could have access to more DLCs. No, these are people that are buying skins for a third person shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Spending hundreds of dollars on skins that don't matter. You mean first person? Nah, he well, it's he ridiculous. Talking, nah, he talking about he how you about. how you buy fucking a skin, a Valkyrie skin that I'm looking at right now for fifteen hundred cop points. What's that? How much is that? And, That's and like ten, I think. Ten, ten bucks. Yeah. For some shit you can't see. So you buying you buying skins for your. Head. For your point, for your you know, the opponents to look at. Okay. For when you die, that's the only time you get to look at it. Type shit. <laughs> like yeah, when in, you the, die, in the kill cam. Yeah, you get to look at that shit. Uh, so let me get this straight. You bought the game for a hundred dollars. All right. You, you was they told Fortnite. you you had to. You was playing Fortnite before, and you got every skin on there. So that what three hundred, three fifty. Like let, let's let's look at the like the um what's the ABR the airplane gun? That <laughs> shit that, that shit don't make you no better at the game. It's just entertaining it's just to, look cool to look at. Yeah, it's just entertaining to look like look at. Like the what's that? The unicorn gun or whatever. That was just mm-hmm. entertaining to look at. Like a lot of the guns. It's something cool to look at. Like they don't really they don't. do much. Like the operator mods kind of alter it. But even then, like the alter the, the operator mod for what is like the the uh, the MX9 still gets shredded by like most of the other guns. Like I would understand if it was like you know you know how Ghost had like um like the honey badger had the suppressor that one uh. Assault rifle had the um the laser sight built into it. That'd be different. Yeah, like if it, if it came one of attachment, yeah, if it had an attachment, because that shit saved you a whole like a uh, uh, slot or whatever, so you could actually do something else with it. But I don't, I don't understand this this whole fake outrage bullshit. Like everybody, like, oh my god, I can't. Be-. I'm not gonna say everybody, but you know, the the perception is people are really pissed off when genuinely nobody gives a fuck. Like hey, I should um, be the ignorant nigga here. It's like, so you ain't got a dollar. If you really that mad about it, you really ain't got a dollar. You could, you actually could. And here's the thing: is all like y'all really mad about this, but the fact of the matter is, to because I always see like uh, like articles about this. This is like one of the more higher selling Call of Duties of this generation. So it's like obviously people like what the fuck they got, and they're not mad about it. You already paid a hundred dollars for the game. You telling me one dollar is really the difference to get you to play it or not? <laughs> and then, this, and, this is the breaking this point. Is, <laughs> and this is the th- another thing here. I think these shit, like you know, like this ABR with the uh, uh, Fighter A's Mastercraft version of the ABR. It will change colors. It will change visuals when you get five to ten kills. So that promotes camping right there. Yeah, yeah. You know, that promotes <laughs> yeah. camping right there. It's like I can be well, mad not about anymore that. because the, you don't have to get the kills in a um, succession anymore. You can just get ten kills in a game and it'll change. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's like, they change that. For, they change that for all camos. All camos. You don't have to. Um, yeah, no, it's just you have to get the kills. It's not like, right. Which, which I feel like is dumb. I, I feel like that's dumb. It gets rid of the, it gets rid of the coolness in it because someone can get like forty kills but have like thirty deaths. And have, right. Like, what was it? Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Like you drop a nuke with a diamond gun, you get the rain the rainbow camo, which I feel like is dope. You know what I'm saying, but hmm. now it's kind of like, what's the point? Cause and it's honestly like, like. It's honestly like, dude, the, like, I can complain about that. Like, why do the camos change? Why can't we all get them? Like, who gives a fuck? This is one of those who get, like, generally who gives a fuck. Like, it's not like Would they had really the famos. this much, you have a problem. Let, yeah. let's, let's look at it like this, and let's be real 100 with it. This battle, t- battle pass tier mm-hmm. shit is bullshit. The only, reason, the only reason I would care about this shit is if they put more weapons in it. I don't give a damn about stickers, jesters, none of that, none of that shit. Like when you get to the no, weapons, that's when it's like better. But other than that, doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. If they not putting new weapons in the uh, in that joint, I'm not buying it. 
And like the thing about it, they could have been assholes about that and let the the, the, the progression system the way it was. Because if you notice, you actually progress through like the little battle pass thing a whole lot faster than it was at uh, the first uh, season. Yeah, than the first season. Like they actually oh, yeah. altered first it. season. You had to play five games just to get love too. Yeah, and like uh, like called like this year they've actually listened. Ooh, to this like, is ridiculous, bro. They've been actually listened to the to the to like community and shit. And they've actually lowered the progression rate. So it's like you have the opportunity to earn what everybody else is earning. It's like I'm more concerned about me earning a weapon that might shoot faster or I, like have like a better damage or whatever than yeah. a fucking reticle. And I'm I'm not even mad about them putting that in the game because it's not like behind the paywall. It's not. You get it. This is the one year I'm not mad at Call of Duty for a lot of the decisions that they've done. Besides the hundred dollar wow. shit, it's like I'm they the, the hundred dollar shit is some fuck shit. But like other than that, like they not for once in like this year thus far, it's not a whole bunch of fuck shit. In my opinion, for us not to be mad about the hundred dollar shit, just make the game a hundred. Fuck all these different versions of it. Make it a hundred dollars, period. And then and then let's see where it goes. I mean, there's a rumor yeah, going around that it might be free to play. Man. What? Black Ops 4? There's a rumor circulating around. Oh, hell and they not going to give niggas their money back. Not at all. I mean, fucking Look, H1Z1 didn't right do it. If Bethesda didn't do it, we know we're not going to talk about that and we're going with that. No, nah, but we know that. Long, but right? Yeah, Bethesda ain't do it. Kyle ain't doing it. Yeah, niggas, just, that's millions of dollars that niggas just going to have to hold the L on. True facts. No, but, I mean, uh, if you think about it, Black Ops 3 got hit with that free to play. Yeah, yeah, but that, yeah. Was late in the, that was late. But what yeah, for that PlayStation was PlayStation Plus members only? Though? Yeah, yeah, it was for PlayStation Plus members only. But okay. I mean, it's it's just a rumor so far. Like I haven't I haven't read an article that has like the concrete evidence. Like, oh, it's going free to play. It's like a lot of. But you know what? Go free to, if they go saying. free to play, just know that battle pass. Your mic cut out, by the way, my dude. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought I was tripping. If it goes free to play, that battle pass is no longer free. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. All I know is the only thing that I would want to be played, if you know, is Blackout, because you know I actually like. We need to get on Blackout, man. I'm trying to tell you, they they did something to that game, like they did something to that mode where I I get like on a good game, I get no less than three or four kills or five. Well, I heard that they actually worked on the armor because, like, I'm not gonna yeah, say that, like that it was one of my huge. Armor. It was one of my huge issues. It was just annoying because like. I'd be like one of like the last people there, not to my own horn. But going against somebody who has level three fucking armor, that shit is ass. You're not killing him. Yeah. Hey, no, hold on. I hold up. Quick start. Oh, it was a big problem. I, let you I was running with. I was running with homie fish and B Hor. Yo, B Hor ran into the. We were at the uh, the little middle place. Uh, I think it's Frankentown. Uh huh. Motherfucker ran and I got hit my mesh mine. Like I go <laughs> in there trying to pick him up. Right. Tell me why three niggas came off the off the rappers like Batman. All them niggas, <laughs> all them niggas had level three armor. I was like, yo, I just got in this bitch. They hit you with the then and then and then Batman. You thought, yo, they, nigga? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But, no, we need to play Black Out of these. This shit is fun as fuck now. I'm down to play, but like, it is it is fun as I don't know what they did with it. Like now, at first we we're playing, we shoot a nigga a hundred times, he won't die. Yeah. It's not like yeah, that. The, the only time you, the only time me. you will get dropped is if a sniper hits you clean. And I got hit with a clean with a couple of snipers. Oh, some of them be really be out here with the with the sniper game. No. Hey, oh, uh, hey, yo, us rolling in them armor truck turns on the back. Come on, bro. Oh yeah, funny moments are definitely going in too. Like I'm still mad I didn't record them games where we could have got the win, but we got like bombarded by grenades. That battery. I, I uploaded it. I think I did. I hope I did. I don't. I don't remember. I remember watching. I was so hurt. Cause oh yeah, you so did. My, did. You mother, shot for, me. So, for fools like uh, K Dog and Biggie that know how to snipe, man. Oh, they eating. That shit was fun. When I won my first game on that shit, that shit was amazing. I when I, I clapped one I clapped one guy. I was I was missing me and homie fish. I was up on in the hill. He was in um the guy was in um firing range and I picked up one of them sniper rifles because I needed a secondary. Yo, I can't snipe, but yo, man, I took that man, brain meat everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yo, the gold pattern in, in blackout? That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what I had. Yo, yes. one shot. Bam. I like the Paladin and the Kashka. Anything else, y'all can have it. Y'all keep that shit. All right, well, that was the Call of Duty news. Uh, well, since last podcast, when we did our top five albums and whatnot, uh, re-wrapping 2018, Agent and K-Dog weren't here because they was busy with other things. With that being said, it's only right that they get to do their top five albums 2018 because 2018 had some fire-ass <coughs> albums. Facts. Facts. So with that being said... 
agent, and you go nah, ahead nah, and go nah, first. I'll let Kato go first. All right, hold on, I'm going to the game. I, I'll give her a list. Uh, hold up, I'm finding it. Flip through the papers. No, nah, it's in my phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, this, this ain't no particular order. Wait, it might be. It might be in order. It's preferably in order. No, nah, it's not. But it kind of is. Like, it's one of those... It's like, interchangeable. You know I'm saying one's better than the other, but you listen to one probably more than me. Yeah, and I also got three honorable mentions, and they came out late in the year, so they don't count. Mm. But uh, I got Victory Lap by Nipsey Hussle. Facts. Black Panther Soundtrack by Redemption by uh, J-Rock. The Book of Ryan. Worst of 5-9. You know what I'm saying? Mm, Astro World. Right now, Travis Scott and Milky Way by uh, Boss. And my honorable mention was DiCaprio 2 by J.I.D., Oxnard by Anderson Pack, and Championships by Meek Mew. I put those there because they came out late in the year. Yeah, I, I count those as 2019. Yeah. yeah. Agent, we well, already know what's one of yours already, but continue. If it wasn't for one, it uh, Hold on, what was that last time you said? Uh, oh, Championships. Okay. Yeah, I put them in my honorable mention because they came out late in the year. Yeah, I did have that. All right. Um, my top five in no particular order. The Carter five is number one, even though he's not going to tell you. <laughs> Yo, just because you said that, I'm going to read it from the bottom to the top then. <laughs> Carter five in there twice at the bottom and the top. Word. All right. <laughs> so uh, my top yeah, five it. will be uh, Scorpion by Drake. Yeah, I love Scorpion. Uh, Nissy Hustle Victory Lap. Big and fun. this is the one that I was, I feel like, Y'all gonna cuss me out over it, but <clears> hey, <throat> it's in my top five. And I was gonna put not was, but I am putting it. I, I stand on it. The 21 Savage album, I am. I was uh, still I here. in my top five, but still I'm haven't heard a Savage fan, so I'm not yeah. mad. I still um, and after that, I got KOD, J. Cole, and the Carter Five. And honorable mentions, uh. I'm gonna get cussed out for this one too, but Astro World, Astro World, uh, no. the Carters, the Carters Joint uh, Championships, and my last honorable mention would be the Six Nine Joint. Hey, that's your opinion. Six yeah. Nine Joint too. You entitled to your I'll opinion. Songs, I forgot about the Carters album. I just got a title subscription too. I, I should go listen to it. Huh? I, I like the couple songs on the Six Nine Joint. Billy was he. I was say mine will always will be because I actually changed my shit from the previous podcast. And I thought about it. It's um of course victory lap number one. I I've been to this. I compared everything to victory lap and nothing was touching that shit. Um victory lap, dime trap, the Black Panther soundtrack, Kamikaze, and I said the Black Panther soundtrack right. Yeah. Oh yeah, Redemption. Oh, and I got one more I want to add. Uh, I want I want the fighting nigga to uh to uh that that. Uh, what's that? Sh- what's that damn song? I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Uh, the, the book of Ryan and uh oh the book of Ryan uh, that's v- and victory five. lap might be tied, bro. Now nah, for me, yeah. it it'd be the book of Ryan and redemption. Those are the ones that's tied for me. Those ones are interchangeable because out of sight, out of mind, go hard. The bloodiest go hard. Fucking win, of course. Uh, what's that one joint? That that Kendrick and J Rock freestyle. Wow. wow. Back and forth. Wow, bro, that shit was hard. And that video was hard too. Oh yeah, that slow motion shit. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Yeah, so hey, I, got, I don't know who thought of that. Fire. Genius. I got one more honorable mention, and that'll be Dom Kennedy Volume Two. Oh, he released that it? came out September twenty ninth. It, it did. Yeah, yeah it, it did. did. Yeah, you right. Yeah, Kennedy. Kennedy. I said Kennedy. Kennedy was good, and I still ain't heard about that. I be forgetting, bro. I, I feel like got, I ain't got Dom shit to say on this subject. Dom Kennedy. I should put Scorpion in my honorable mention, but like I just started listening to Scorpion all the way through like the past like two Michael weeks. Scorpion. I give Scorpion a five out of ten. I'm Whoa, not Drake, I'm not a big Drake fan. Five, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Whoa, I'm not giving it a ten, bro. I'm giving or nine. I'm not even saying a ten, but all right, well. seven and a half. It was it was too long. That's why. No, most of those. It's songs a part A, part B. Could... Yeah, I don't most want two albums songs for songs one, bro. Hey, some songs all I got to say. Mm-hmm. This organic pineapple fruit bar I'm eating is delicious. That is not music, sir. Oh, I thought about something though. Uh, honorable mention is definitely uh, Pusha T's album. Oh man, yeah, man, yeah, they Pusha talk. T is man, that dude is trash to me, bro. Whoa, whoa, you, 
You own your own. Whoa. I just don't. I, I can't get into push. I like, bro. I have put, tried. Time, bro, when I tell you, I have listened out, to time, every it's single. Time I'm tell you something about 6 9 You put 6 9 in your top five, but push a T's ass? <laughs> to me, I just don't like his flow. I don't like his voice. And personally, I feel like he ain't got shit to say most of the time. And 6 9 does. But you like 6 9 Hold up. Hey, Did you listen six to nine, you know six you nine know? Nine Six nine, nine, nine has not been a competent song it. title yet. I can go to the gym with that music. I can go to the gym with that music. You can go to the gym I, with that music. You can go to the gym with fucking opera music. Nigga, yeah. I'm going to the gym with Daytona and Darkest Before Dawn before I go to, I'm I go to the gym. We're going to act like if you know, you know it's not like people like Daytona because he said some shit about Drake. That was like no, the last I'm song. I'm a Push T fan. I like Darkest Before Dawn too, the album before that. Bruh, that, and can, his, uh, his verse on uh, the, the Don't Like remix, the way he came in on that, come on. Now, he started that song off to be hot. Uh, I just, I can't, I don't like Push D. Didn't even listen to the album. There's not, there's not a single hey, Push D hey, verse. Hey, hey, six, nine, nine. This question, did you even listen to Yes, I listened to the f- album start to finish, and I don't remember shit yeah. about it. Did you listen to it or did you skim they, through they, it? They, they play. I listened to. I listened to every song, and while and while I was doing nothing, so like I I'll only. Thing hey, did why you have an album last year? Yeah, yeah, he did. Hold up, they played a six nine song at the club, nigga. Literally everybody wants to dance. Yeah, because it's not a song you dance to. That's just some somebody about to so, be so you, Right. <laughs> That's the clear somebody club about to joint. Play play cool to, play cool in the club. Somebody, somebody get stole on. Nigga, if you put on a six nine song, you nigga, I make that my girl. Like somebody farted bad, nigga. Dang. <laughs> Yo, Lord, I'm about to play. Go- him, you know bro. what? I was. I'm, I'm supposed to play Golden State. I'm skipping this game, bro. You skipped that one, bro. But uh, you was talking to my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, nigga, you speaking shit? How you doing? <laughs> hey, real quick, I got, a, I got another honorable mention. It wasn't even my album. It was just one song. The uh, Tyler Creator, the uh, the Grinch joint. That song, that's going to yeah. That that one song is I'm gonna mention. I did. Oh, wait, didn't didn't Tyler Crater recently release uh, Flower Boy this year? No, that was last year. I think that was seven. Like 2017. Nigga, I would rather listen to Jaden Smith rap than six times. Matter of fact, hey, hey Jaden Smith, Smith got bars, rookie. Right. All right. Well, since the four of four out of five of us are playing 2K right now, I want to get y'all thoughts on the 2K league as well as how they can actually improve. As far as like the drafting process I goes, the first thing and the one thing that they need to do to fix with the draft process. What you got? Don't let people play JRC to get those wins to get a part of the combine. They go on there hoping for easy games. Yeah. Make them play team pro man. You ain't got. I can't hear a thing Biggie is saying right now. He's talking. He's not just do instant matchmaking. And like yeah, they should. You shouldn't be able to just play JRC. To get your wins to go to the combine, you right? Yeah, because your whole team's not going to the league. Yeah, you, you might be trashed by yourself without your team. And yeah. all you do is play against trash. You looking for come ups on the JRC to ho- hope that you get your wins? Nah, you should have to play team pro in. Either that or do instant matchmaking. Yeah. I feel like they should put some people with some clout on there and have them draft team. Nah, like have like have no. like like have. Let's just say they had a uh, uh, Chris Move, the uh, the team captain of the Lakers team. You know what I'm saying? And do something like that. Now nah, I'm trying to reach out to him, become buddy buddy with him, and all that. Yeah, mm. too much. You five. said what? People would people would be try to be extra friendly and shit. But that's what I'm saying. Like Chris Move don't care about nobody. <laughs> he probably care about the 2K league. To be honest, I was about to say you think he care about the 2K league. He barely. I'm just saying five. if he were if he was to do it, that would bring clout to the you know what I'm saying to the to the 2K league. Not because that's one of the biggest faces in 2K, like ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get somebody like him, somebody like Cash, somebody like you know all these people, and. You know, or you can have them at the events. You know what I'm saying? Try to bring in more people. This is from the outside looking in, but it seems like 2K League does not need a help in clout because I mean, all these teams are backed by like no, the NBA players and shit it's like that. It's not that they need a help, like getting people to watch because they can have people watch. It's just their games aren't that fun. I'm gonna tell you what it is. 
Oh yeah, they, they need they, before you. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, but they need to put the uh, animations in the game too, because they yeah, take animations out. Is is way too many animation restrictions? Like, wait, they did. And I, I, I ain't seen no posters. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing. Oh, you barely see crossovers. They take the step back out. Like they do all this dumb stuff to dull the game. But nah, bro, put that wait, in the wait, game. Time out. They do all. I didn't even know that. That yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when you're the, the, combine, the, the, the same way, COD um COD Pro restricts certain guns and stuff. Yeah. Oh, I know. But I know how that the, works. But I didn't know two K. Yeah, when you're in the combine, you, you they have. You're restricted to what archetypes you can use per position. And depending on your archetype, you have certain dribbles that you can't change. You can only use default jumpers. Uh, the sliders are completely different from normal, like JRC, Pro Am, or Park, or My Career. But wait, that doesn't make any sense on why they would limit that if, like, that's what you're using. And, like, the because they know the game is broken. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that doesn't make sense. Because, like, that's if I can use. For shits and giggles or whatever, because I don't know too much. Like, y'all know more about the, the intricacies of 2K than I do. But for shits and giggles, say, like, Jump Shot 21 was, like, technically a guard jumper, but, like, uh, Power Forward has it. If I'm able yeah. to get that as a Power Forward, I should be able to use it then. If that's the case, just don't have it in a vanilla version of the game up before I get used to it. You know what I mean? Like, that, yeah. that doesn't add up. It's because their community is going to complain. You can't use... That's the reason why big men can still have, like, relatively cool jumpers. Because if they, like, at least in on their normal game because if they took them out then most of the community would complain that they can't get a shot off with a stretch big i mean my whole thing is like if you don't if you like if you're gonna go the the esports route right and i'm all for it because it's only pushing the game and culture forward right if mm -hmm. you're gonna do that at least have some type of consistency in it or like have the 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 best quality of your game present at like the casual level because, like, you know, the games aren't designed for esports. Like, the community makes them competitive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. that's why, what was it? Battleborn flopped on his face. 2K is trying to make their game competitive instead of just making a good game. Like, that's why. I, I mean, Biggie, do you feel like all. Do you think they should let the animations fly? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, show, show, show off the full brokenness of your game so everybody can see the full fix it. Of it, per se, because. They can still keep the sliders that they have because the sliders they have, it's impossible to shoot 100%. You Facts. Are not shooting 100%. Like, you now. will miss. What is the sliders, anyways? Oh, fuck. Oh, I nobody them. knows. Oh, green releases, you get like one. All right. Yeah, you get like one. Even if you butt naked nasty open? Yes. yes. You shoot big whites the entire game. So it's like, then what's the point of me memorizing your, your character and shit then? That's the point. They're, like, they take the skill gap, honestly, out of it when they get rid of that green one that you can, can consistently get. If you have all these people that are supposed to be great shooters, yeah, that shows show the skill. how great they are at shooting. Let them use the jump shots that make them great at shooting. That's so, that's goofy then. Like, because I'm, like, it, it does, like, the, the 2K League or whatever does have, like, a fan base too. Because, I mean, people obviously mm. follow the shit. They follow the players or whatever. Yeah, this 2K is so worried about, like, everybody using the same. A lot of people use the same jump shots same dribble moves and stuff mm -hmm. but a lot of the dribble moves they have in the game are ass anyway so why force them to use ass dribble moves just because you don't want them to everyone to use the same ones because they're good i mean and just because everybody has them doesn't mean everybody's gonna be proficient with them though like About that's the, the only thing in order and to fix my that, thing is i feel like they don't want to uh they don't want to showcase that momentum dribble shit too like the dribble guys <laughs> oh the there's no such thing as, yeah there's no such thing as a dribble guy in uh 2k league bro mm -hmm. i don't think they give you a high enough ball control do they uh, I don't think I don't even think you can speed boost honestly. What were you saying though, K Dog? I was saying in order, in order to fix the, everybody using the the one jump shot thing, go back and fix the jump shot system. Yeah, but it should not be one jumpers made better than all the rest of them. Yeah, they keep trying to they that's what they try to do, but people complain about it. It's like you have to sometimes not listen to the, the loudest voice in the say, room. Yeah, the like if Duke, if Duke can hit with, with Shaq's jump shot, let him hit with, Jack, nah, with Shaq's jump shot. that's the only thing I say. I'm going to be pissed if I see <laughs> someone shooting limitless range threes with Shaquille O'Neal's jump shot on. Fuck no. Well, I mean, it, 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 reason. But if he if he wide open, okay, and if he is sharp. I don't want to know a lot no, now. Hitting it, with Shaq's it, jump it doesn't shot. matter about the animation. It's, it's, my, uh, it's my skills, though. Like my attributes. Yeah, no, that's no, what that's what, no, that's what I'm saying. I understand it should Person, it might cut out. I'm gonna get pissed. I'm saying for me personally, I'm gonna get pissed off if I see someone with Shaquille O'Neal's jumper, his slow ass jumper, range threes. I'm gonna be mad. What? Why? 
If he got if he got the attributes to back it up, what's the point of getting mad? Yeah. No, say I'm not. I'm not talking about a pure glass cleaner shooting threes with Shaq's jump shot. That will piss and me off. And we've been okay with it. I'm, ta- I'm talking about a. I'm talking about a pure sharp. He got a 91 three ball. What's the problem with him using Shaq's jumper and they going in? He, his attribute should allow him to do that, regardless of what animation he got, as long as he knows the animation he's using. That's my thought yeah. process on this. That's why I shoot so yeah, shitty in 2K. I'm honestly, I'm just saying I'm gonna get mad about it. Even, even if like it did happen, I'm not gonna be like that. Needs to be taken out the game. I'm gonna be pissed off. So what you're saying is you really don't have a problem with it. Is just you feel it's like it's just the concept of it. Yeah, it would just irk me to see kill O'Neal's jumper. A jump shot that ugly go in. Just, just like in real life. When, when that one, not mistaken, the jumper that's how 14 was. Like certain jumpers didn't like like all, majority of the jumpers worked in 2K14. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there, you was, no, what you there was no like automatic made, made jump shot. That right. yeah, can we do that, please? Just get rid of the green one. Don't have it back like then. Cause I don't like, even want it like that because it ain't pop- you get an excellent A plus miss. Take yeah, the ability yeah, yeah. and show that out of the game. I mean, like my whole thought process of it, this is why I'm such a shitty shooter at 2K. I'm willing to admit it. Like I shoot decent openly, but contested like how everybody else in this group and everybody else shoots, I'm shitty at shooting. My whole mm-hmm. thought process I'm right is, behind you. My whole thought process is if I'm open, I can shoot it. Regardless yeah. of my jump shot. If I'm open and I have a decent like level, I should be able to shoot. That's not how 2K works. That's why I have such a hard time learning that shit personally. Yeah. That's why this whole animation shit like kind of has me like a little baffled right now. Because I'm like, if you have the because skills, because they to... know the way they've made their game, certain mm-hmm. bases. It's based on what animations you pick. Yeah, and it's not even a whole animation. It's just the base. Yeah, yeah. The it's the base of the jump shot. Really, just the base. The mm-hmm. release is just your own personal timing. Because there's, there's, I remember back in, I don't know if, I'm pretty sure it's not as much like this now, but like on 16, 17, there were certain bases that would give you more off balance jump shots than others. Mm. Okay. So, so like, like you could for the past, get, at least like, for the past, like, what, two, maybe three, two Ks, Rudy Gay has been a, a pretty average base. Yeah, like if you didn't know what to use, I will tell you just use Rudy. That's, but that's the jump fun. shot, the jump shots they give you the most green window. Is, uh, so far as jump shot 25, 49, 11, 8, 9, and Lamarcus Aldridge and Kevin Durant. It used to be base eight last year, but yeah, they nerfed base eight because everybody uses base eight. No, nah, 16 and 17, it was uh, amateur one slash high school one. Wasn't oh 20, God. wasn't like. Base twenty one, some some like no, you talking about twenty four? Base twenty four was in two K fourteen. Ah, because it because it had a high release. Okay. See, it pays to have niggas who play two K a lot more than you on your platform, goddamn. Because I would not know not none none of this shit. But <laughs> my whole thing about like the whole draft process, because like I don't follow it heavy. I just follow a few people who you know are it's trying flawed. To, are, are trying to like get up in this shit or whatever, right? In the squad, of course, but, like, my whole thing is, like, it seems like 2K is trying to have, like, the masses get in, which is okay, but it doesn't seem like it's controlled that way you don't have people, like, you know, the controversy of boosting, uh, what was that shit that was popular when everybody, like, get in, like, a group and, like, play, like, opposite teams so, like, that one player could, like, boost up their shit or something like that? Well, like, wasn't that a thing that was happening this year? It sounded like something niggas would do. Nah, yeah, that, that, that was because of the last bad year, like, last year, they would all search at one time and try to get in the game. And get matched up almost every time. There we go. That, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like people were like trying to do that. Like my whole thing is, if you're going to have this this draft process or whatever, there needs to be like how you would say like a quick like I said quick AK, a quick matchmaking process or like a control like specific uh, uh two K prospect area, like an E League thing or whatever. It's like do it do it like, regionally. Yeah, that, that way it's separate. Like, like start off like everybody groups into their different regions. Then okay, once you went out there, then you get to like the like the East versus West. Then from there, then you go to the top ten and play out See, that way. You do East versus West. You know how to, how much delayed that's gonna be. And with two K, you fix their servers in. Yep, because we had that, about it, servers it, at that point because that's people all the way on the East Coast going against. Well, no, no, because by the time you get to East or West, you you can invite ten people to, to a private location and play, and play on land. So probably. I that mean, ain't that, that's fixable. I just like all. Which you say, East versus West. I just like this could all be well, like more well contained than how it is, because it seems like everybody. I has think two K not as serious about it yet. That's the problem. 
they're not taking it as seriously as it, as it should be. Because this could actually, like, do something, though. Because people love watching niggas game, and people love seeing the competitiveness of it. And not everybody has... Well, actually, since 2K is, like, in that premiere, or is that premiere basketball game or whatever, where everybody follows sports and shit like that, you have the casual 2K people who would watch this shit, and the hardcore NBA watchers of us, the 2K players, like, watch this shit. That, and this gives people the illusion, or at least the hope, that the average person has a chance at doing this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, this could actually go somewhere. And plus, I feel like their selection process is a little jaded too. It's trash. It that, is. that that was another thing that like I was saying because like shout out to, to King Dooms or whatoever. I thought he was a shoe win because every time I watch this motherfucker play, a he he can't miss for one, and b they go off of wins, which is like that's not end all be all for who's good. Even well, though you know it sounds is, like it should be. What was that posted that picture on Twitter? Like he scored like forty points a game as a pure shark, and he still didn't make it. He's a pure shark, so he don't deserve it no way. You know. That's, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's just fuck him. No, but it's like I don't I don't understand that shit. Like he like you got these beastly ass players, whatever, who don't make it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like these no names don't make it, but like motherfuckers will maybe not be as skilled as them somehow get it. I'm I'm a little confused as like because to that. they claim that they don't look at like content creators and everything, which well, they don't look at them as much as like they would would look at the normal person. They claim that they watch every single game. Mm -hmm. They really don't watch every single game. They watch the people that they heard about in the MPBA. If you weren't in MPBA, they don't care about you. And that's the little fake that well, I guess that, that was the two K league before there was a two K league. Yeah, oh, that'd be I didn't the even amateur know that. That, That's that's the cool to the G league. Yeah, that's the shit that. that like that CKZ and then be playing them tournaments. I'm saying them motherfuckers. If you beast. weren't a part of that, they're not looking at you. Which I'm glad the community basically created its own league that they that they respect. Yeah, because 2K wasn't gonna create it, and then they and then they got then they didn't add private, and they made it so like it'd be hard to try to match up at the same time at first, so you couldn't do that shit. That's why you couldn't do it last year. Well, I mean, That's you know how that shit go, bro. Like you got to make your own shit. Somebody else ain't gonna do it for you. Yeah, and 2K realized make a hey, college bro, they might game. make some money. We might want to do our own thing. That's crazy to me, but. I just wanted to run that past y'all, cause y'all, y'all, y'all are more in tune with like how a lot of this two K shit works. Yeah, it's just a very flawed system that they need to work on, and they need to stop trying to force their game to be more competitive and just make a game. That's honestly how put, it works. You make a good put game, the you follow. In there, just just so they can see how much bullshit these dribble gods are. <laughs> And especially and you get, like the, of, no, the thing ones. is, the thing is, most of those people that are gonna make it, they aren't because like JFU, who usually runs point guard, he's not a dribble guard, he just runs point guard normal. Like, he just knows like how to play that. point. Those yeah. are the point guards that I respect. If you ain't got yeah, a momentum like, everywhere, I respect you. Like, you beat me, yeah. hey, bro, you good. Yeah, hey, a lot of those people in the NPBA, they aren't dribble guards. I appreciate them because them, them 2K dribble guys, yeah, is those annoying. are just the people you see. Them I like, guarded them on them like, camera. <laughs> Those are the people that think they should make it, but really that no one's looking at them. Shot yeah, because they, they cheese and take advantage of the game. It's like theoretically that's no skill. You're doing an exploit. <laughs> yeah, so they're not looking at them. So most of those people you'll see in there, <laughs> even if they were able to momentum dribble those crazy moves, the most they're probably going to momentum. <sighs> all in all, they just need to let the and give them the yeah, animation them the because and, and, and lower the damn uh, stats. We we not trying to see forty point games. I mean, my whole thing was what was it? What was it? Two K seventeen or eighteen? Where Buddy lost the tournament because of a of like oh, yeah. the, the the backboard because he threw it. Yeah, that was eighteen. Well, yeah, he threw it behind the backboard, that standing in front of the rim. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how you keep your composure under that situation. I, he's better than me. I would have lost my man. In his head, he was cussing out two K in all types of ways. Oh fuck that day. That's was that's so why I couldn't be in the league. I've been out of time during during the live stream. They, they would have seen me bust that controller all the way to fuck up and just walk out. But yeah, a lot of their stuff is flawed. That's what I've noticed because like I see people talking about it on like Twitter and shit like that. And I'm all like, how broken is this shit? And that's and I feel like that's why some people actually do get mad when they like the guy you're talking about that's like dropping forty with a pure sharp every game. He probably wasn't in MPBA. He's probably been doing that shit in JRC and to the combine. Pretty much still JRC. You just can't have teammates with you. I don't know. 
Like, if you aren't, like, big on that scene, they're not looking at you. Like, you can drop 100 points, and they look at you. Damn, you said 100 points? Well, if somebody drop 100 on you, you need to just stop. Like, then that, that'll that get them to be like, hold up, what's he doing? But, like, when they're watching, because they spectate those games, they don't spectate all. They, like, look at the people that interest them. I mean, the idea that somebody, like, in the 2K offices is watching every single, like, game they that's going on. Servers, they don't yeah, that, that's servers. just unrealistic. Like, for you to think that somebody would watch every single freaking game, my G. Yeah, but, no, they ain't watching every one. Yeah, let's keep it thousand. Like, how long people doing that damn the inbound glitch before they finally fucking pass it? Oh, my God. Yo, I forget that was at shit. least a month. <laughs> like, come on now, they they had was that a new one after that. Like they said, they they fixed it twice. And then people found the same game. night we were doing it again. Right. What about that invisible shit? When I saw y'all, y'all had to. Go. I never saw that, but I, that, yeah, that, I saw that that about it. I never ran into yeah, that, that with happening. the invisible shirt glitch. Not a lot of people were doing it. It was happening, but not a lot of people were actually exploiting. The funniest thing that we seen last night was the invisible scooter. That was hilarious. <laughs> I think it was y'all was playing. Yeah, I saw, I saw doing scooter. Bro, the same glitch from two K fourteen is back where people running on the court. Oh yeah, yeah, that happened to us before. Uh, actually, but, makes right. some sense, but it's there. Not at all. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, the free games for all of my broke boys out there. I'm playing. Relax is a joke. Hey, um, hey, I was gonna be broke at some point in time. You know what I'm saying exactly. That's why it's a joke. Nigga, everybody been broke. But anyway, um, games with gold for my Xbox folks out there. You get. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hey, you, go ahead, I do. Y'all get no exclusive. Nah. You Never get. You get Celeste, which is available from January 1st to the 31st. Um, no idea. Me That's too. You. you get uh, WRC, which is basically a rally car racing game um, from January 16th to February 15th. You get Never Alone, which is available December 16th through January 15th. And Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light, uh, available from January 1st to the 15th. For PS Plus, what we get is the Ubisoft... I guess attempted reboot of SSX Tricky. No, that was EA. I took it back. So basically, Ubisoft's version of SSX Tricky with uh, Steep, and we get the platformer oh. Portal Knights. So hey, uh, hey, uh, Steep lit, Larry. What are you talking about? I don't really. Man, care. I'd rather have SSX Tricky back, bro. Ash, that game was fire. what? You ain't play Steep? No, I rather really play Steve. SSX Tricky, bro. I had no intention of playing Steep. Not, give, give me the white dude with the afro, and I'm good. I had no intent of playing steep whatsoever after that trailer, but um, before we would continue or whatever with that, I also got to give a huge shout out to the gaming Illuminati. This uh, the gaming Illuminati GI. They also had their own podcast from the uh, gaming Illuminati, uh, gaming Illuminati podcast and gaming podcast. They have the enlightened sounds and music podcast, triple threat sports. They basically have a podcast for all things of entertainment and things that you know we probably all like in this podcast and that y'all probably like. We're listening to this podcast. They also, they, own, they also have their own app via yeah. that's available via iOS and Android, and their own website where they cover everything nerdy and geek, as well as hip hop, down to battle rap. Make sure you support them because they support us over here. Now back to the show. So back to reality. I hate you. So Battlefield. I'm the only one in here who actually has the game. Mm-hmm. I think Eric got it. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Um, I'm not gonna lie. From what I played during the beta to what I'm playing mm-hmm. now is two completely different fucking games. Is that good or bad? Because I, I was still no good because the beta was trash. It was boring. I fell asleep playing. Yeah, it was it was bad because like, it, if anything, this has to be the most smoothest running Battlefield like of late. I watched Chef play it a couple weeks ago. I it's might a, it. it's it actually look fun. Like it's a glitchy thing. It's not. Think so? Yeah. The biggest annoyance of the game right now is that. I, I think I told y'all this when I came back from from a E3 and shit like that. Was they <laughs> was talking about how they were gonna have some drag mechanic that way, yeah. like if you're a medic, it's still not in the game. Yeah, it's still not in the game. A few of the features. That's my biggest gripe with this so far. Most of the features I was excited for, not the battle royale. Could give a fuck about that. But I might play that low key because how battlefield works anyway. Hold up, time out. Am I gonna play it? Yeah. Do I give a fuck? No. But my biggest gripe is like as a medic support main i want to i want to have that vision of like one of my boys going down dragging them behind some cover healing them up and then pulling up on why, somebody yeah why tanks off shooting at you and all that yeah, yeah like come on now that's some movie shit right there like yeah, i want to true. do that 
It's just they they put out an unfinished product once again. They did, but like the complete 180 they did from the beta, because the beta had all time. If anything, the beta that we got was a fucking beta. Thank mm. God. Like there was bugs, glitches. I fell through the fucking map. Like I got oh, stuck. Bro, oh, we ain't gonna talk about that. But <laughs> I got stuck in a fucking wall. It was just bad. At one point, I encountered a glitch that I encountered at EA Play where I got to play the game. Where I was sniping, got killed, got revived in like the trees or whatever, and the tree was stuck in my reticle, so I couldn't see anybody. Boy. And I just sat there like, you can't be sitting. You can't. Like I understand if I'm over here at EA Play, this is like the alpha. Okay. Nigga, we in the beta. Why is this here? <laughs> I played the beta, but I've never been kicked out of so many games in my life. There was that, too. There was that, too. I don't think I ever actually got to play a game in that shit. I never finished the game. I, I kept getting kicked out. Never finished the game. The game you, is... You got into a game. I don't think I actually played a single game on that. No, nah, you didn't. Because I remember when I brought it up, you was all like, wait, they have a beta? I was like, nigga, too late. Yeah, I didn't even get to play a game on it. Yeah, the game is actually a whole lot of fun now. It's nowhere near the atrocity that was that beta. You could actually enjoy it. Which is yeah, good. It looked fun when I seen Chef playing. That's that game out for maybe 15 or 10 to less. I'm not buying it. You don't have to wait until next year then, my G. And the fucked up part yeah. about it, knowing how Battlefield works, that shit's still going to be populated because you can still find a lobby of Hardline and 4 to this day. I thought about buying a Hardline today. Me, by the way. Agent, you're going to have that game before this time next year. Yeah, hey, like, is Hardline still the move, by the way, while we're here? Let's be if, honest. You, if you want to get it, I'm down to Because it's, it's, it's six bucks. It's six bucks. I got it yeah, too. I the whole shit. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm always. I'm always Hardline, was, Hardline, Hardline was one of my favorites. Hardline was one of the more. That was the one that was rejected by the community for all the wrong reasons. I knew it was a Battlefield 4 DLC. Wait, what, 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 what do you mean by that? Can you elaborate? Because people, the reason why Hardline didn't last as long as like a four, three, whatever, was because the community completely shitted on it without even playing the game. I played it and I was like, this, this could have been DLC. And niggas saying shit like that. But I understand off rip. Maybe nothing about it now. Maybe month one of it because like there wasn't much to it, but they started adding the DLC and everything else to it, like how Battlefield does, and it, it it's literally its own full game. The only issue of yeah, it now. was that it had its all it had bugs and glitches like during the first couple weeks or whatever. Which Battlefield EA dice y'all gotta do, but you can't be having that. We, we nah fam, just just no. There was that, and on top of that, the customization. Was like which they kinda, which they kinda, fixed later by the way yeah which they fixed later was kind of wonky at first like not even gonna lie to you like it was kind of weird like how they decided to do it like you gotta get like these keys and then from they could like choose to you unlock you unlock yeah yeah I just bought Battlefield, by the way yeah okay Six books. but that that's basically how they did it and it it made it just made the process really awkward and not a lot of people were, like like that shit and they had every right not to but when they come out saying like off rip oh it's just dlc it's his own standalone game it has its own story that will actually hold you over for about i want to say depending on if you're trying to speed run the shit or not eh, about eight yeah. hours nah uh, yeah i guess Wait, what are we talking about what are we talking about the battle for the horror, horror story horror yo it was yeah. dope yo it was like netflix yeah it was like it was like his own movie like the way they actually did that story was yeah, actually created it was dope. yeah I, yeah, I give it about it a solid five, five, six hours. Cause I I beat it on the first night. Yeah, I did too. That's what I'm trying to feel like. That's what I'm like. It, you could beat it in a day, but it was a good story. Like, was it like mind boggling? Like, oh my god, I can't believe this twist. Fuck no, it's a shooter. Come on now. Every, every shooter's it's the same. Not no Call of Duty shit, dog. Yeah, it's like go here, shoot this person. Go here, shoot this person. Stop here, high behind cover. I, I like how to put where, like the driving mechanics and the shooting. Yeah, it did. I mean, the best part about Hardline that a lot of people slept on, for me, was hanging out the window, pulling up on some niggas. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'd say just like that, too, because I felt up hanging out the window with an AK and letting that Ooh, thing spray bro, was... Hey, the police! Bro. Bro. Man, what? <laughs> and then that, that, what was that, that game mode? Uh, hot uh, Wire? Yeah, Hot Wire. No, Come Hot Wire was now. lit, low-key. I ain't gonna hold you. Battlefield Hardline hot legit was like, like, like... The game's not bad. I've never said the game is, like, trash or anything. It just, it just didn't last long for me. That's what killed it, though. The fact that everybody was saying it was trash. And here's the thing. Y'all actually played the game, so you could formulate an opinion. There was motherfuckers yeah. who didn't touch the game. I didn't know. They just saw that it came out, and they played, like, the beta. For and saw so YouTube reviews. Use, like, oh, never mind. Gotta use facilities. I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead, bro. But that's... Yeah, I played the beta. I didn't know. Hey, uh, anybody in here get, get 300 knockout? 
Uh, my boy Jordan did. I want. That's play. when the game got fun. Hey, 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 hey that I nigga Lil. Just to talk about that game. Hey, hold on. That the three hundred knockout was lit. Facts. One shot killed, no matter where I hit you, nigga. You dead. Facts. Three. Hey, hey. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was part I got of that and the Galil. Was, uh, you know how you can get your own servers? Yeah. Yeah. We would get our own servers. And and play hot wire, like yeah. Yeah, play hot wire and then just rank up. Like that's how I got the three. I got I, I, I like every uh, specialist yeah, gun, whatever you want to call it. To get like the medic had one, support had one. I unlocked all of them just by renting servers, and we were just hanging up. Shit, like you yeah. remember uh, Neve's game in Battlefield Friends where they were talking about that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like that game was heavily slept on, and like the thing is, like EA or at least the Battlefield franchise, since then was like on a decline because Battlefield Four came out broken as shit. I bought that game literally twice. I had it on the Xbox 360 when it's completely just butt booty cake. Had it on the one where it's a little bit better, and then I ended up getting the game for PS4 like way down the road or whatever. But my issue, my gripe or whatever, is that they released some of these games, or they released, and they were just buggy and shit like that. Yeah, like they weren't finished. They yeah. Were See, I was late to Battlefield Four because I played Battlefield Three late. Code errors, dog. In the beginning. Oh. No, you load to a game with no sound, literally no sound. Mm. Not the map, not the trigger, yeah. nothing. Yeah. You might hear some echo. You might hear some reverse. You I want Battlefield Three Master fam. I'm, I'm gonna say Battlefield Three was the go. I don't care what nobody. I just want to play on Diamond Van Peak sniping with, with the uh, with the M40 fam. You know, just to, you know, I'm going to do it for you. Just to segue into the topic about Battlefield on how they can get how they can get that form of glory back. I feel like it's because they don't have a map that does something for you like Dam of Van Peak or anything like that. Like Caspian Border, Dam of Van Peak, Operation Metro. They Operation Metro, nigga, on Rush. That was the best. Yeah. They oh, you haven't been able to. That map is cancer on BR4. You try and play any yeah. mode. Yeah, that's what I'm oh saying. Like, they can't remake those maps. Like, they can't. They can't find what made those maps so great for when they were there. Damn Van Peak. Sniping with the M40 A3? Down like down the hill? Like, like that. Or jumping off the cliff? That Iconic. The cliff, they, cliff, they can't redo that. Or that one on Battlefield 3 that remastered on Battlefield 4 with the satellite or whatever in the middle. Mm -hmm. I forgot which one that was, what, that, what map that was called. But that shit, fire. Like, you, in order for you to get the gold magnum, you had to snipe, like... Oh, yeah, get, on top of that tower. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got it. You had to get three kills. That's Cassidy Border. It was Cassidy Border. Yeah. yeah, remake, yep. Like, they, they don't have, like, the nostalgia maps because Battlefield Hardline, hate to say it, didn't have it. It just had a bunch of fun game modes and a bunch of, like, dope guns yeah, and like, shit like that. You don't start no, about like, them. There was no, like, maps that you were, like, they were iconic. To. Like, you one needed thing, those. One thing Battlefield did, right, was whipping out, like, uh, requirements. Who was I playing Battlefield uh, 4 with? It was, a, yeah, it was all of us, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was. I mean, I didn't know y'all at the time, but I played it. That shit was chaotic and cancerous, bro. I love Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 is late. But the problem, like, that's, the, that's just the issue, though. Like, I agree with you. Like, they, don't, they just don't have those, like, those, those legacy maps that people just want to go back to. Mm. Like, one definitely ain't got them shits. <sighs> hey, what was a little cargo map on the, uh, on the water? What the was water that? Joint? Yeah, I, I know what you're talking, talking about. about. I don't that was the shotgun you. map right there. Shotgun and the sniper, shotgun sniper map. Wait, was that on Battlefield 4? Battlefield yeah, 4. It, was. it was. No, it, it was on 4 in a remake. Yeah, it was on 3 oh, okay. originally, and they Yo. redid it in 4. Yo, what you said it was in Battlefield 3? Yeah, yeah. originally. Oh, okay, Yo, yeah, that map, that map was lit. You just run through the middle of it. Yo, yeah. Yeah, if you're not leaving that game with at least 50 kills, you're just chilling. If you ain't sniping or getting bucked at by a shotgun, you was not having fun. Yeah. That made me want to get was... Battlefield 3 low key. Yeah, yeah I got my PS3 sitting right here. I'm probably going to get it on, like P get it on yeah. PC because people still play that shit. They do? Word. Uh, it's on PC? Mm -hmm. Dog, yeah, on they, PC. they play on PS3 too. Dog, on the PC, you got to realize a lot of these like big ass open like war games like that, they don't fucking die. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see this. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, uh, like, you know, I got I Steam right like, now. Hold on. I can, I can get on uh, the PS3 and get on uh, uh, Resident Evil Operator. Yo, my cut up. Like, by the way. Oh, I said no. I was saying, um, cause like I used to play uh Operation Raccoon City, which is basically like a kind of like a Resident Evil team game, not that Umbrella Chronicle. Uh, umbrella not the zombie. Yeah, not not <laughs> that. The one nobody, the one nobody bought. Yeah, no, nobody <laughs> bought. <laughs> did it only sell like a thousand copies or some shit like that? If it did that, I would be surprised. But um, I can get on PS3 and just jump. On. Like my that game me. is fun as hell. The only thing is. Sucked about that game, it was too short. I would love for them to take that concept 
and bring it over to PS4. To this day, you can still play like Modern Warfare 2, fucking mm-hmm. Black Ops 1, Black mm-hmm. Ops. You can still play all them games. Even though they're hacked as shit, like Black Ops 1, I would play over. Hey, hey, no, I got Black Ops 1 and niggas had the aimbot and everything. Ready. They can't all play Black Ops One a couple hey, times. But, and, and rainbow shit. colors and all that. The shit, but we found some good lobbies, man. Like I'm, man, you that's found my a good game. lobby, you have fun. But that's my game. Like hands down, that's my game. But it's all like Battlefield. Yeah. Like always has that type of shit, no matter what shit is on. But it's like as of late, like the fact that I could go find more lobbies or at least more enjoyable lobbies of four and hardline than I can of like one. Because I, I don't like one that much. I'm sorry. Like that's yeah. probably my least yeah. favorite Battlefield. I'm with you now. My, most definitely my least favorite. Yeah. It was boring. So it's like they can't find like that right mesh of like uh weapon. What made one game great. Yeah, what made like one like those three games great. Like five has the potential because it's like, you know, it's still growing. It's actually a solid yeah. game, has a solid foundation. The time to kill is magical. It does not they take need- hundred and one bullets to kill somebody. I love it. Yeah, they just need to have the like they need to have those maps that are just like Hey, where Battlefield 3 at? It ain't on Steam. It no, it's on yeah. Origin. Origin. It's, yeah, it be on Origin. Origin. Yeah. That's yeah, what I look. Those, <laughs> yeah, like, they need those maps. Like, even Battlefield 4 had a couple, like, they weren't iconic, but they were maps that you knew. Um, What was that one map that was in the, where the tower fell over? Yeah, iconic. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah Shanghai, yeah. That was like, fire. So- the Stormbreaker. Uh, yeah, Stormbreaker. Yeah, Stormbreaker. Love that one. Operation Locker, like those maps, you can Lock, still yeah. remember those. Yeah, maps. Locker's the only map I play on whenever I go. Yeah, Locker's like but you can remember. Like it, even Battlefield Four had maps that you can remember. I don't remember any of the maps from Battlefield One. I haven't played Battlefield Five, so I can't even speak on that. Battlefield, Battlefield Five, has... Online, I don't even remember any of the maps from there. I remember yeah, I'm telling y'all right man. now. If, if y'all down for Battlefield Three, I, it's already in the cart, fam. I ain't How much is really, it? So, uh, I ain't got the PC. Hold on, it says get the game. Hold on. It's get the like game. 10 bucks. It can't be that expensive. Buy we now for $5. Case the point. Out? We need to play a game of Blackout. Of what? What? Blackout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's too. what we need to do. That's what I'm down. Hey, that need to be our new rotation. Blackout and Rick. Because Rick is fun right now. I don't know why. It's still fun. It's magical. Because we have It's going to be fun because we have really some sweaties. Right, real quick. I, yo, I'm playing my career. DeMar DeRozan just dunked on Neil Gallinari, missed the contact dunk, and it somehow went in. It went, but yo. the reason why Rick is so fun right now is because they already named who was the 200 that was going to make it to the next round of the qualifiers. If you ain't make it, no point in you still trying on the... On Unless the you like Rick like the rest of us. Yeah. Right, and for us, we just enjoy playing because we have a full squad. We communicate and we just yeah, do bullshit. Now, now all those people went back over to Team Pro in, or they just stopped playing the game, or they went to Park. <laughs> yeah, they either good. Went Go to back to Park. Do not come to Rick. Like, stop playing the game. Because some people really, I feel like some people really get that mad to where just stop playing the game. I believe it. I ain't making. Well, fuck the game. It's like you should have kept that same energy because you. Yeah, like it. in Agent's video, and he was uh the dude was crying because he didn't make it. To the 2K league, I think niggas understand how much work that is to be, to be on a pro team like that. You don't know, I, like you I, still get cut. Like nigga, yeah, I heard ready dudes have to play 2K like 10 hours a day. Yep. Yeah, they got to practice and all that, and make and make uh, yeah. event event appearances. And, and the all thing that. is, niggas mm-hmm. think they can do that because they play 2K a lot now. But it's a lot more than that. Yeah, but no, it's not even that you're playing even more. It's the fact that niggas forget that you get mad at 2K. And you'd be like, you know what? I'm going to just play it again tomorrow. I'm going to not play it. You got to yeah. continue to play you it. Gotta you got to keep playing. You got to push through that mental break. And not everybody can do that. That's why I said I couldn't be a part of it. Because if I get mad at 2K and you tell me I got to play another one, you can suck my dick. The whole dick. <laughs> <laughs> you got to play. Suck my up. entire dick, nigga. I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> but it's like right? dragons and shit. I'm playing Minecraft. Fuck it. <laughs> nigga, we're Warframe at. We're going live. Let me find Fuck out. It. We're doing live. Hey, no, nah, nah, nah. so we ain't going on live. We ain't playing. Dude. Let me find out. Digital Streams got a damn esports team. I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if live had an esports team, you know how A's those games would be. I, oh, I'd be on one of them teams, guaranteed. I'd be annoyed. Boy, but them hurt. games would be hilarious to watch. I will say, because there'd be so much rage involved. There'd be so much rage and so many canned animations. Like you thought you had a wide open layup, but there. Rim protector, so he just automatically got the snatch block off the glass. Right, then he just pin your shit. 
Like, yo, yo like, pin your shit to the Trey, fucking wall. <laughs> y'all watch Trey's video about the thing, the things that's wrong between both games. Yeah, shut yeah. up, me, Trey. And I, I definitely agree. I've been yelling about this shit for the longest. The motherfuckers, you say I'm a hater, so fuck y'all. But you know, I didn't know, me. I didn't know. Uh, Live had contested shot and reaching problems too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just as bad. Live's reaching problems are actually worse than two. Way you worse. You get activated into animations wholeheartedly by the most randomest yeah. of people. And there, and there. He said he got a ninety ball really control worse. and still getting ripped. Still, by yep. Shots. It's happening to him live. Yep. Yeah, like on NBA Live, it's a lot worse just for the fact of reaching fouls aren't called as commonly as they are on two K. They're not called. Period. On they're not called unless you're playing five v five. Yeah, mm. they're not called at all. Yeah, so like if you get put in animation, it's most likely a steal. It's a wrap. That's crazy. And then they'll just sit there and be like, oh, well, then you know what happens. Like, even like, like in the, the, the street, right even like in the, in the, the, what is that? The, the strike team shit, they don't call fouls. Mm -hmm. They just don't call them. So it's no holds bar. Somebody court battles, so, yeah. Like, yeah. That's what makes that game so annoying is because there's, like, even in the modes, like, sometimes you don't want to play 5v5. And it's like, they, they, they should still be reaching fouls. Because from what you can see, this is still supposed to be regulation rules. Like if I'm playing at the I'm playing at Rucker, I'm pretty sure they still gonna call you for reaching too much. And the funny thing is, like if you watch some of them games, they do call. Like, you can go watch the and one game that they played at the Rucker. They were calling yeah, fouls. No, let's talk about the fact that there are certain foul call animations where your player will argue with a ref that's not there in NBA Live. Oh yeah, because game knows you out. The game knows it's some bullshit. But like I have my player stop playing defense and hold his head arguing with the ref as my as dude blows by me and dunks it. Yep. Uh, start to uh, just to go back on this. It's five dollars for the basic version, ten dollars for everything. Uh, bet it up because I got ten dollars. I'm gonna take ten dollars up the savings. But my yes. nigga, black rapper stream is a list. What but is, that's that's basically list? the 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 issue with Battle for that we that has been like the general consensus. Like they just don't. They've lo I don't want to say they lost they, it because they could always get it back or whatever. Yeah. But the problem is, it's like they don't have anything iconic. Yeah, like y'all just have not made anything iconic yet. They have potential to do it because I, I don't run anything past like the, the motherfuckers who made Battlefield 3, 4, and fucking Hardline. Mm. I, they can do it. It's just maybe, just maybe, they got sidetracked by the other projects that were that they were working on, or whatever. Maybe I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt here, but it's just a it's just a matter of like. I want to be. I want that excitement I used to have playing Battlefield. Like I want that excitement of like telling motherfuckers, "Hey, yo, get on Battlefield, get on Battlefield." Like I haven't had that in years. I, I they need to make a modern game. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think it's because they were trying to compete with Call of Duty. I actually think Call that'll be the only Battlefield that I probably would. Yeah, is a modern one. Yeah. Yeah, because you I, know what? I think they lost everybody because they were competing. I'm gonna say it is too Call much. Duty went back in the Battlefield's past. on the clock. Because if, if World War... What is that new game on PC? World War 3 and Insurgency come to console? Mm -hmm. Hey, they, they might lose niggas, bro. They but might. I mean, I'm, the, I'm really getting sick of these World War shooters. I'm that's really what good. happens with the World War games. Though. Like, they burn yeah. out fast because... They're we, cool at first. Yeah, but we played them shit so much already. So it's like, how much yeah, more... Like we played them shit when we was kids. I'm cool. Like, World I get it, the MP40. We got, we got two World War cards. How many... Yeah, the MP40 and the SCG. Yay. Hey, yeah. yeah, I got it. The fucking Mossberg. All stick right, grenades. <laughs> Yay, yeah, stick grenades. It's like we get it. Like, and the thing was, if Battlefield instead of releasing Battlefield One, like when Kyle was doing advanced, uh, what was it? Advanced Warfare? No. They oh, were doing World War. I think they were doing World War Two, weren't they? Yeah, no. it was same year. Was it okay? So if Battlefield would have just got the jump, because they had the jump with the whole going back in the past shit, right? So instead mm -hmm. of them doing World War One, which is admittedly one of the more boring wars in the sense of like what was going on at the time because like a lot of like it was just new technology technology if they would have just did what like put out battlefield 5 then then went modern now they'd be straight but then, like hindsight is 2020 and even then like i was like that like world war one like we don't even really talk about that yeah we talk about the cold war more than that and the cold war wasn't nothing but a whole bunch of shit talking exactly it's like i bet you won't i bet you won't. i bet you won't nick Hey, guess what? We made it to the moon first. Hey, guess what? We put our flag on the moon, nigga. Right? Like, could you imagine if, like, Battlefield did, like, the Vietnam War? That'd be fire. They did already, and that game was fire. Battlefield yeah. Vietnam? Oh, Man, I what? Play that one. I had that on PC. Yeah. I remember playing Shell Shock and having nightmares. They, wasn't that, the, they had the 1942 as well? Yep. Yeah. I remember that one. Mm-hmm. But, like, they did Nom now, that'd be fire. 
Cause I can only imagine how horrifying it would be like with the sound, the and the the graphics. Yeah, that we yeah, have and like now. The, the gore. Yeah, like come on now. Imagine have some like some dude running. Somebody leg going off in a Mossberg in a trench. Yeah, somebody ye- jumping out of the damn trench yelling "Die, GI!" at you. That's some scary shit. Hey, but I think both Call of Duty and Battlefield are starting to realize, or Battle- Call of Duty already realized it, but I think Battlefield is starting to realize we don't need no more past games, and we much rather you just go modern or just a little bit in the future. Don't That's, go we don't need no all the way shit to either. the right. Don't go, go too deep. Black Ops Three or Modern or Advanced Warfare again. Or if it don't warfare. go too far left and do like World War Two or COD Four. Like we don't need those. Yeah. It's like just give us something modern. If you can go into the future, do it so like those basic. Those are some of their both of the companies. That's some of their best games. Modern Warfare Two is like the best Call of Duty in my opinion. I like Black Ops One. That's my best, but no, I, I give you some. Uh, Black Ops One is all of those are good to me. My opinion, well, like I, all, I stated this before, the COD actually died for me on the PS3. So they, like they were never, they could never recreate that magic. Black Ops One is the number one, and I will give Modern Warfare Two the second slot. Modern Warfare Two gets a strong second for me, but Why like, do people like we, Black Ops One so damn much because it's it's oh, no, so complete. A good game. I love it's, Black Ops it's, One. It's a, have you ever played Black Ops One? Yes, I played. I played every single COD, bro. It is the most complete COD there is. That and that was the first really, game where you got to was, choose the fuck you wanted. Yeah, plus that was like right after Modern Warfare Two, where niggas was tired of the noob tube one man army shit of like the yeah, fast quick scoping. Yeah, and so when that game came out, and like snipers weren't as fast, the noob there was no more one man army. Everything was more like punishing. Why, and, and you had you had the, the work contracts. You that had the dope. contracts. You had to work for your per, the, con, your, your, the OG con points. You had to work that for you couldn't your, buy. You had to work for your uh, your um your attachment yeah. for your uh, and your yeah. and your pro perks. You yeah, you had to do all that. It wasn't just rank up to get it. It was just you had to buy them. And had if we go back it. though, Modern Warfare Two had to be one of the most broken Call of Duty's of all time. Oh yeah, like if we play it now, it's broken. It makes no sense. It's like we were just so used to it that we, like we were blinded to it. But like in hindsight, yeah, like, that shit was a lot broken. of people on there. That's why I feel like some people don't like. I'm not saying the shoe agent, but there's a lot of people like Shakedown talked about it in one of his videos back on like 2K17, I think, was talking about how from uh, Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 1, a lot of his friends were saying Black Ops 1 was trash because they all they knew how to do on Modern Warfare 2 was exploit the game. That's the thing. I didn't do all that though. Yeah, that's what I'm Personally. saying. Like, I don't think you did that. But a lot of, that's why a lot of people find that game not as good. I mean, my boy Jordan, shout out to the homie Jordan. He actually, for his verbatim word for word, he invented those cross map noob tubes, like where you just shoot up. This motherfucker legit showed me map by map where to shoot. I used to do on that each shit map. All the time. I used and to do I was that like, and I was like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Like he even this 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 is how nerdy my nigga Jordan is, dog. This motherfucker knew all these spawns when they were going to spawn and where. Scary I'm like that now with any Call of Duty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like you I can't, to, you can't be good at COD and not know that. I used to no, cheese about that. so much. Yeah, yeah like back to back and timing. Like that's that's some scary shit. It's like that clip and was going fucking around. um scavenger cheesy mm-hmm. shit ever. The only problem I have with Call of Duty now is they spawn on both uh, sides now. Danger close. I yeah, mean, you right. Yeah, Biggie, you right. That danger. Shit. Danger close. Juggernaut. Boy, stopping power was a Commando thing. Pro. Was Fuck Commando. Commando man, hey, man, Commando Pro better never come back hey, ever hey, again. I was a Commando Pro cheeser, bro, with the tactical knife. Oh my hey, god. The fucked up part Commando. is you didn't even need you it to go Commando. You would have hated me, you bro. Didn't even need to have it on nah, you what's that you joint that help you strafe when people shooting at you though? Uh uh what was it? Damn it. I just remember Stalker from from Model Warfare. Yeah, Stalker Pro, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Stalker for three. That was in three. MW3 had the best, the best perk system, the best perk. Yeah, they had the best perk system, worst yeah. kill streak system, in my opinion. I yeah. like the perk tree of ghosts. That's my personal opinion. I like how they did the perks. The, Modern Warfare 3's kill streaks with the support shit. I'm glad they never brought that back ever again. <laughs> Man, I feel like I feel like that was the only problem with that game was the support streaks. I never ran a assassin. Ever in life. Assassin was so overpowered. I loved it. Assassin Bad. and marksman. Mm-hmm. Those oh, Marks would definitely help me see niggas I would never see in my life. Mm-hmm. I was pissing everybody off. But I, aside from that, yeah, basically... See, but here's the thing, though. You know the conversation that we're having about Call of Duty in, in contrast to Battlefield. 
people can mm-hmm. say don't we can't compare it to all we want to. Let's keep a thousand. Those are like the two juggernauts of like first person shooters. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's you like can't, you can't talk about first person shooters and not talk about either one of those. Exactly. So it's like you'd be delusional to like not compare the two. And my whole thing is that's not saying it's a bad thing. The fact that they're on the same level on some regard is actually a good like, thing. We're not saying one's better than the other. Per they're se. both good in their own rights. Well, yeah. Cod's better than Battlefield. Fuck y'all. Yeah, I say it. Oh, no. You don't yell with that one. I thought about yeah, it. Except for Battlefield over Cod. See, because me? that's because you don't like it for. I, I, I prefer for Call of Duty over Battlefield. All that fast paced spawn killing shit in Call of Duty. But see what they're doing now. I'm, not, say, I'm not saying that like I don't like Battlefield. I enjoy the hell out of Battlefield. Like, no, I all, the like all of Duty is all that, about like. the damn microtransactions. They want money. That's yeah. it. The gameplay is a, the gameplay is a secondary. Look at look at Blackout. Yeah, as good as it, as secondary. good as it is, as good as it is, the Fortnite would not have been as big. There would be no Blackout. Not at all. all. Call of Duty had no intention on a battle royale. Until Fortnite came out, most games didn't. They didn't have that foresight, not at all. Not at all. Because that's the case. They would have been put that in, like during like the PUBG shit era. Let's 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 be let's be one hundred. On on fucking um on back on the PS3 era, where Call of Duty was just king and everything. <laughs> yeah. How, how many of y'all bought Call of Duty to play fucking uh story mode? Uh, but what was people other than the Modern Warfare series? No. I didn't buy a Call of Duty ever to play story mode. I, I, only care, I cared about you, it during the Modern Warfare series. I know the whole thousand with you. My mom liked the story. I only played the story until Modern Warfare Two. Actually, I beat all the story modes up until three, and even Check. then, like once I got once I got like that little crack taste, that little that little taste of multiplayer, I was a I was a fiend. This how and I how was. was. This how it was for me. This is how I found out. And Modern Warfare Two story mode is my favorite. I my internet got cut off about three days. So Damn. I couldn't play multiplayer, and I played the story, and I was like, "This shit is fire! Mm-hmm. This shit is fire!" Like that's how good that story mode was. Like yeah, nobody, nobody good. plays. RP that's why. Ghost. That's why I was not mad at Black Ops Four for not having a story mode. Nobody, nobody, nobody fuck plays after, it. After nobody cared for it. I feel like this. I feel like the story after Black Ops Two, the story fell off. Nobody gave a shit. The and numbers, Mason. Oh, what do there's they mean? no campaign mode in Black Ops Four. Oh, see, th- th- there's another thing. We're going back to the, the fake match shit. shit. The fake there, like, match fake shit. Campaign. That is the fake match shit right there. Nobody plays Call of Duty for the fucking story mode. And even in Black Ops Four, they give you an adequate amount of content without a story mode. Like they give you a good beefy amount of content with no fucking story mode. Oh, it's always multiplayer, or whatever. That's base. They they basically went on some statistics of like what people probably play. The most. Yeah. Nobody's tweeting at, at Vondahar, like any of the other, like the, the PR people uh, about like, where's the story? Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Like, it makes zero sense to me. But the final topic at hand. And hold on. Let me say one more thing before we go over to it. Just like oh, we're, we're, we're talking about uh, raising umbrella. Look what they try to do. They try to have like a... Uh, a battle royale type verse. Look, at, that shit did nothing. Mm. This suck that this suck, like you know, certain games need to stay in their lane. Mm-hmm. Like there's Call of Duty does not need a story mode. It don't. There's no mm-hmm. Call of Duty competitive play if you if you and another team trying to beat story mode first. It's not out there. I feel like, like they reached their cap at the story mode. Yeah, there was yeah, nothing more for a- them to talk about for Modern Warfare or Black Ops. You hey, I cried me into Modern Warfare 3. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. A little bit. You a said Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, at the end, when, when they showed the picture, everybody that died from, uh, from Kyle 4 until the end, I was hurt. I was <laughs> only, only, the only nigga. game that's actually... Hey, man, F Shepard, man. Hey, sh- sh- yo, F Shepard. Uh, I heard burning my nigga ghost like that. That shit hurt. The only game that has made me cry, aside from Kingdom Hearts, was easily Gears of War 3, where Dom killed himself for... Uh, Say the squad that I take that back. Gears of War twice because there was that one, and then when he actually seen his wife in uh, Gears of War two, that 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 was a lot to take in, bro. <laughs> that that that, that, that was a lot. Cry from a video game. Shit. That, that, oh, I've give me that. Up. I've teared up. I'm not gonna lie. I've cried. I ain't even gonna hold you. When that nigga Dom seen his wife, and then his wife was basically like dead. I was like. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think I think my only tear moment killed uh Eris on fucking Robin 7. 
Shit, I I bust I cry like a whole bitch when this nigga sort of sacrificed himself to fucking release Kyrie's heart. I'm like, nah, bro, nah, bro. Then I lost it. But it's not. You know what's crazy? I've only cried from one movie ever. And people call me the sociopath. Okay. I've only cried from one movie ever, and that was uh that uh what's that movie with the dog? Uh, what uh, uh Lion no. Legend? He know he lying. Nah. He fucking Mar Mar when was they, it Marley and me? When oh, they, this nigga. Know. When the dog had to begin put. Hey, you know yeah. Agent. You know Agent Lion. He cried when he in the spicy Big Butt series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, but nah, that's the only movie I cried in. Cause I had to when I was young. I had to have my nigga. My you didn't tear up at fa uh, Fast and the Furious Seven at the. End. I did it. I'm gonna keep it at that. No, come on, man. Nah, I had to walk out the theater, bro. Hurt, but I did. I was not about to cry in front of my woman at the time, nigga. <laughs> he said no. Nope. <laughs> You gonna cry in the car? You gonna cry in the car? Bro. I ain't gonna cry. <laughs> nigga, I went to I went to, I went to go get a soda fast. Now what pissed me off? Now what pissed me off? I, I that, that Marley me dog. I'm sorry. That's one thing. Maybe you have a connection because you had to get your dog put down. But that scene in I Am Legend where he had to choke his dog out. My when he killed Sam. Dog. When he killed Come Sam. Come on now. Damn, I, I ain't gonna lie. I got it. I I didn't cry, but I, I I you know what I'm saying. I did get emotional. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. He had to kill Sam. He had that big ass knot in your throat. He was like. <laughs> Dude, that shit was hard because he's over here fucking humming Bob Marley. I'm all like, nah, dog, nah, dog. Come on, there's got to be a way. <laughs> I don't kill Sam, man. Bro, that shit was hard to take. I, I was like, nah, dog. I don't even watch the movie no more. But I was like, because I fuck with Will Smith, though, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna call him a bitch. Nah, like, I'm like, uh, for a TV show that made me like, I didn't cry, but I was so pissed. When they kill Ope off of Sons of Anarchy, I was pissed. Oh, the only TV show that made me cry I, I, like a bitch I, I, was Will Smith. Hey, you and watched Bel Air. Hey, I did not watch that, uh, that spin off to Sons of Anarchy. Anarchy that, uh, the Mayans? The Mayans? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. I don't, think, I don't, I don't think it's going to get a second season, but it was okay. Okay. I haven't finished. I only watched the first like three episodes. It was cool, but yeah. I, don't think, I don't think it's going to get a second season. I'll yeah. be surprised. When, when Will Smith's dad walked out and then that nigga went on that rant. And he he said, "Why don't he want me?" I was like, "Oh my soul!" Me, man. But what's, cra what's crazy is I missed that. I I didn't see that until like I kind of grew up, so that's why it didn't hit me hard. Oh nigga, that shit hit me immediately. I cried like a whole bitch out here. Like when, like when I seen <laughs> when I when I when I finally seen that uh that scene. Uh huh. I was kind of like I ain't gonna say I was cold, but you know what I'm saying. I, I kinda, it missed like, it was it hit me at the wrong time. You know what it was it was only it was only two scenes. That was that. Part. It we was that it. one, and when Carlton, when Will got shot for Carlton, and Carlton had that gun, and Will, that was another one, because he was yelling at him to give him the gun, because Carlton, uh, he, he was like, "Are you gonna be a victim no more?" Like, yeah, your ass killed. I mean that 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 the the thing about Will Smith and his dad, though, the crazy part about it was like the fact that that was actually like some real shit. Yeah, that's what made that shit even more tough. Cause I didn't even know that shit. That was like years later. It was just like, damn, his acting is incredible. Cool. Dad cool. Imagine your son now. He won. That's crazy. That nigga good. Superhero. Said, Why don't you want me, man? Yep. I'm that nigga a superhero. Like now. a bitch. You were know, up here talking big shit. Talking about, nah, I'm going to do everything by myself. Like I always been doing. What made me laugh, though. Here's the thing. At first, I thought he was going to like gonna laugh it off or whatever. Like, he was like, I'm going mm -hmm. like, to have a fine honey and a bunch of kids in a big house. I was like, all right, cool. And then when he <laughs> said, the hell with him. I was like, oh, shit, it got real. And we just yeah, if, I, if I would have seen that, you know what I'm saying? When 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 I got chills lived. talking about this shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, if I would have if I would watch that scene when he when you know what I'm saying when, when the shit with my family first happened, then maybe I probably would have cried off that shit. But I mean, that by the time I seen it, I was kind of like dead on the inside. By the time I seen that shit, that shit hurt. Me. Oh, that shit definitely hurt. I was like, why don't you want him, man? Why got me a little bitch? <laughs> What's the hmm? next topic? But uh, on to the next topic. Uh, Red Dead Online. Oh my I have God. not. I ain't played that since release, dog. I ain't played. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm gonna say this. I think um, we got to give it time. That's what I, that, I don't want to jump. We have to give it time. I'm not gonna. We I'm not gonna jump the gun because I mean, at some point we were like GTA Five was like in the same space. Exactly. That's, That's what, what I'm about give to say. Time. GTA Five went through the same thing, and then they had to add content. Yeah. So I'm giving GT. I'm giving Red Dead the benefit of the doubt, but I'm just saying the hype went smooth the fuck down. 
Because no, I that, played the online. I actually had fun. Like, that shit was actually enjoyable, aside from, you know, always that, getting the gunfights. That's gun that fights. fucking, um, that shit, that hype we had for Battlefield. And that shit was like, I'll put ski. Yeah, that, but like, this, <laughs> but like, the thing, the thing that makes it like annoying though is like, I, I'm not even going to sit here and sound like exasperated about it. I hate when people can't admit that they're like, maybe not entirely like a game's trash, but like they might be bored of it. Like, there's plenty of other games you can play out here, my G. Stop forcing like, yourself that, to like, like it. Yeah, that exactly, be- exactly. Yeah. Why do people do that shit, man? Like, because they don't want to feel like they're wrong in their hype of it. Like, you have every right to be excited or hype about a game, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but they don't want to feel wrong because probably one of their friends told them it's not going to be that good. And they're like, nah, the game's fun. And then they realize, man, this that game needs a lot more content. The community on that game is, oh my God. AIDS. You see somebody, you better have the strap out. You better, yeah, that motherfucker. You, you see on somebody, you. you better have this day on. No, you got to. You the mini map and you see the little red indicator, like kind of flashing. You gotta have your gun out. Strap out. If you ain't got the strap out though, you don't get fucked up. Cause you really, yeah, you really have you got the strap out. All I you did okay was getting nine. constant gunfights. Motherfuckers trying to lasso me the whole night. That shit gets old. The first couple times, ha ha he he. It's like at one point, it's like nigga, I just want to do a mission. Leave me the fuck alone. That's the thing, like, and they don't on, have uh, passive mode in that shit. Yeah, which is what they need. On, yeah, I was on it on Xbox with my boys. We were legit in a shootout for like twenty minutes with two people. Hey I man, a, a, a ammo ain't as easy to get in that game. You gotta order exactly. ammo and go pick it that up. And you can't loot shit. nobody. He <laughs> said you better have a strap. Out. <laughs> Dog, you, you got, got to. Keep that strap out, man. You ready? Hey, to die. Quick sidebar, everybody join me. Oh yeah, yeah, got you. But like, you can't loot nobody and shit like that. Like, it just it's fun and then it gets old and it's okay because. Okay. Like the same way that GTA 5 kept on pumping out fucking content and making mm. it into a juggernaut that lasted, literally. and they're still doing it now, by the way. Yeah, that, that lasted yeah, seven lasted. plus years. They could do that with Red Dead. I just don't see that hype that was around the online like there once was. Because the online is cool. All that, all that doing that extra shit, like the shootouts and everything, was cool for the first week. When that's all y'all can do because the content really ain't that fulfilling, that's the problem. But think about it. You can't build a house yet. And then on top of that, they you haven't even put like, heist in the game. They haven't put heist in the game yet. Which is the same no, thing like, that GTA 5 don't, was lacking. Don't, don't, yeah, don't like there's no, in that game, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of ownership compared to like, even though I, obviously they're not going to have nearly as much because GTA 5 is, you know, modern. But compared to that, there's not that much you can like work to get. Right. And that's what I'm saying. But I feel like they need, what I, I feel like they need to add the content like the shit to own like you said biggie they need to have the, the stuff to own first i feel like they should have the stuff to own first and then they should add heist because then if they add heist first we're just gonna have all this money for no reason it's not even that you're gonna have a whole bunch of people that's just being assholes just trying to make you and then I, we already know they're gonna have something for you can fly so you can fly because they had a uh they had a, a oh, air balloon they had an Easter egg in the story mode where somebody was trying to fly, but oh, they died. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh, but, uh, but we just got to give it time. That's that's all. Yeah, it's just yeah. we have to give them time to add more. They'll, they'll get it together because, oh, my God, fucking Grand Theft Auto 5, they're, 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 they're fucking, it was just horrible, man. Their online launch. Yo, I remember. Your characters got deleted. It, it took forever in the game. And then, then, then niggas was just. I remember I had two niggas chasing me because I fought one of the Chargers because that was the hottest car. And you know he was like, "Yo, give me your car, give me your car, nigga." These niggas shooting at me, shooting out my tires, bro. Like it, it was, it was a yeah, that's how Rockstar fight, games kind of start out right now. That's what that exactly. That's why I said we gotta give it time. We can't even. We can't. I feel like much right now. I feel like this time, by this time next year, we're gonna have a whole different conversation about this game. Yeah, because exactly. it's gonna have more stuff to it. Yo, right. I'm sorry. I know, I know about the realism shit, but yo, the horses because because the map is so big. Yo, the horses gotta have infinite sprint, bro. They gonna have to change. Oh yeah, that. They, they either need to have infinite sprint or they need a mega boost on their stand. And that's the yeah. thing. There, that's another. That's another Easter egg. They had an Easter egg about cars in the story mode. So they it's possible the for them to have cars in they the don't game. Have the buggy. Yeah. They gonna have like in the cartoons you hopping around while the car driving and shit. I don't know. They might have the you gotta wind up the engine type joint. <laughs> <laughs> gotta wind it up real good. 
Start the car. I'm still in the whole car. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying no, that so. Shit was, no, that shit was funny as hell. On the party channel, Chase us. And he was like, hold up. I just fought the clue. I just fought the KKK. Let me get my guns ready. I was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick. Did anybody find a dinosaur, any of the dinosaur bones in the story mode? Just, yeah, just I don't know. Really love. Not. I, I found two. Like five missions. I found all of them. I, I, I did a YouTube video. Not did one, but I watched one so I could find them all. I found two on accident during the live stream, just just uh, riding around. Did y'all ever fight the serial killer? Like nah, I said, I played. Like I, five I didn't finish that one. Never picked back up the story. Hey, did you? Hey, kid, did you ever get your memory? Yeah, you might cut out. Yeah, you might cut out. No, remember we were doing the um the GTA the the, the GTA Five headshot thing with the gun. To- Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I was just worried. About it. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well, that's all I got on my show notes. Anybody else got something they got that uh, news anything? Jesus. Uh, uh, no, I just want to say there's a lot of people complaining about shotgun tests with stretch bigs, and I understand that it's a problem, sort of. But a lot of these people, like I've said, told you the other day, are guards. Like and you're going against a seven foot stretch big, and you can't get mad at 2K for that person making a seven foot stretch big, and for you making a guard and having to guard him. I'm complaining as a six eleven and eight. Yeah, no, I get that. Player. Like when I get that, like when it's like I'm built for you around the same height as him, and he's still like, because I don't think like you get annoyed by it, but I don't think it happens to you like that consistently. Yeah, like, I, there's a video of a lockdown shooting on me with a red contest from half court and making it. <laughs> See, that's just bullshit. That's just that. That's just that. Like the bar was red. He game. fell on the ground. And he probably greened it. Nah, that wasn't green. That's just that. That's the two K playing percentages, and he had the luckiest roll of the dice that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he just blessed for the day. Yeah, but like, cause, cause you know how to guard a stretch though. But a lot of these people, like, they get mad because like the stretch will make the shot. Because they're supposed to have their hand up, but they're really short. And if you're really short and you just got your hand up on a tall man that can shoot, your hand don't mean shit. And people get mad because their hand don't mean shit because they 6'3", guarding a 7-foot stretch. I understand that, but if I'm your height, then... Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Then that's that's, that's what I'm saying to K-Dog. Because remember, that's... I even I even told you about that story about how I had the guarded dude who was like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, and, he, and I'm 6'2". Mm-hmm. I'm still long as fuck, but even I, even when I put my hand in front of his eyes, he would just elevate a little bit higher and look right yeah. into the rim. <laughs> That's going to be the thing. So I can understand it. I get it. It's no problem. My thing is, I'm tired of these seven foot three uh, centers who standing under the rim and do a hook shot layup. That's what pisses me off and That's miss. What, all right. That's all right. Let me let me get to that. Actually, that because I'm not. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna do it in the video as well, but fuck it. Uh, so people get mad because they want to be that they're short and they want to be able to contest taller people, even though that would make no sense. But then when it's the vice versa from inside, from outside to inside, when you're a slasher or a pure athletic, and you're and there's a point guard in the paint, you don't want his contest to matter at all. Should it? But but then that should be the same thing on the outside. If I'm a seven foot stretch and you're a point. Oh yeah, I'm I'm not tripping on that. Like yeah. I understand. I'm gonna get mad. Of course, I'm gonna get upset, especially if we playing. If I'm playing a park and I jump as you jump and the mm-hmm. bar is red and you still green it and it says open, I'm gonna be upset. But I understand. But if I'm a pure athletic center and I'm in the paint and I do a hook shot layup and miss on a point guard, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, that's just infuriating. They want they want you to be able to completely that's the thing a lot of people get mad like they want you to be able to completely body smaller people in the paint when you're bigger than them but then when you're on the three-point line it shouldn't matter what your height is if i put my hand up even if i only reach your chest if i put my hand up it should be a contest y'all let me see that basketball video upload where somebody's hand was like in my chest and i still made the shot it doesn't your hand in my chest does not matter like your coach always say what you got your hand up for the ball hand at the ball for the ball already gone Right, me personally in real life, if I for a contest for me in real life, I put my hand in your face. Exactly, that's a contest. Hand in your face. 
Like, right. I'm going to try to do whatever I can to knock your concentration off because yeah, the greatest shooters of all time have the best concentration. Like, yeah. if, if you, you don't got no concentration, like, the smallest side, thing. You can't just, like, yell at them or nothing. Hand in their face. Like, you have right. seen they Ray Allen, them. Reggie Miller, Curry shoot. They literally have hands in the face, thousands of people yelling at them. You really think they're going to be shaking if you just have your hand? I mean, James Harden just traveled into a game one or the Mm -hmm. but that's what i'm saying like the greatest shooters have the best concentration and so at me as a defender i'm trying to fuck that concentration up like i'm a like when you shoot i'm gonna push i'm gonna not push you but like i'm gonna put my hand on your chest to try to like throw your game off a little bit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna throw try your to balance off in the air that's like balance uh change and mess your whole shot up i'm gonna call you right a bitch while you, you know shoot what i'm saying like my hand up. Like when you shoot, I'm a, I'm a, like put my hand on your chest just to so like if because if your chest cave in, you go back. That's gonna throw your whole shot up, shot off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you my air ball now, right? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna like do some shit like that. I ain't gonna put my my foot under your feet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't. Nah. I ain't Ooh, Bruce. I know a nigga who played not, like that. I'm not a what's his name? Zaza. Bruce Bowen, I'm or uh, no, nah, um, Zaza but truly is. Yeah, I'm right. Not Zaza. I, ain't, I ain't gonna do you like that, but I'm gonna just do some psychological st type stuff. To throw your yeah. jumper off, you know what I'm saying? That's but just how I play because defense. Because you short and you want to be able to contest taller people. I'm gonna put my hand up. Your mama gave head. <laughs> hey, key, like bro, like you, you ever see those defenders that like when you about to pull up, they run at your legs, but they really not about to hit your legs. They oh, just that's, running past that's some psychological yeah. shit. I hated that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that really threw me off. <laughs> You'd be like, hey, you know what, what you doing? Because like, you'll but shoot like, and immediately that's... look down. Like you don't even look at your follow through. None of that shit. But like that's that's the type of stuff I'm gonna do to you to try to throw your shooting off, like or like when you shoot, I'm gonna tap your leg. <laughs> I hate that shit too. Like, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Like, I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say my outro right now. So, peace, everybody. Hair grease and all that good stuff. All right, big brother. <laughs> all right, hey, if you ain't doing, it, you can come to the uh, position party. You ain't doing. All right, too. I just gotta go. Um, I gotta go run to the store real quick. Um. I'll be right back. Just send me All right. All right. All right. So, with that being said, Big, you want to give your outro, bro? Uh, if you complain about shocking tests on a stretch, Big, and you're a point guard, shut the fuck up forever. Straight like that or straight like that? You can tell, you can tell he a stretch. Oh, yeah, I'm a stretch because when you, because people only talk about it from a uh, person who's not really playing defense on a stretch how they should be, points of view. Because I I agree with a lot of like Agent Zero. Like I agree with a lot of the stuff he says. One thing I don't agree with is like stretches are overpowered. I get that. The contest needs to be fixed. It does not need to be fixed to the point where people think it needs to be fixed. Because as a stretch, watching someone jump from the paint to the three point line to contest your shot and it works is the most frustrating shit ever. Fact. That's not a contest whatsoever. You're you, you're already too yeah. late. So that's the thing. I feel like, like no I feel like, like the contest does need to be like fixed. To talk about I feel the like the percentages side. because I feel like stretches have a, a higher green window because they're open all the time. Yeah, because a lot of people that will be guarding them are going to be shorter, or you're going to be slower and not able to get out there. Right. Basically. So you pick your matchup smart too on the part. Don't just go and run. Oh, here, big. Just outrun. Pick yeah. your matchups better. But back to the outros. Oh yeah. So, uh, Age, you want to give you outro? Yeah, all night. A booty. See, but nah, Bruto. Uh, I wish uh 2K18. I mean, I wish 2K19 took the concept of 2K18. No, in no, which if you had a no, big, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, if you have a big man in 2K18, if you had a big man and a guard ended up getting switched on you, you were getting that posterizing dunk every time. Okay, okay, I get that. I get that. that, that that's all I want game, back. I that's all I want back is just the fact that if I have a seven foot three, two hundred and eighty pure athletic, and I do a drop step, and all I can do is a hook shot, are you serious? I mean, we watched Rambo go through it last night. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's just my only gripe about the whole thing. Just, just keep that same energy. Big like facts. People want people want slashers to be back to the greatness that they think that they should be at because a lot of these people make secondary slashers and get mad because they can't dunk like normal slashers that that's beyond me like yeah, i'm a primary slasher like, like ipods video i don't agree with it i'm getting mad slashers are broken no it's because you made a shot creator primary 
you know, someone who's supposed to be shooting. Like, Kobe could dunk on somebody. But he was shooting a lot more than MJ. MJ would have been the slash and, uh, shot creating slasher. MJ would dunk on you all the time. Kobe can dunk on you, but he most definitely going to take a jumper before he go to the paint. Big facts. Right. But I digress. k Dog. Hey, man, we out, dog. We finna go get buckets. Straight like that. With that being said, folks, hope you enjoyed. This was the Top of the Year 2019 Run Those Games podcast. This podcast will be available on all all major platforms, Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff, as well as SoundCloud and the live version. Yeah, that only $50. This will be available (laughs) on YouTube. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope 2019 to start off well for y'all. If not, change the circumstances and stop bitching. Peace. Let me